Hey everybody, what's going on? So just back here with another video because I found out something that was very, very, very interesting and very, uh, let's just say unlikely. Not a lot of people would really think about you know this happening in Canadian politics. But before I do get into this very surprising news, I just want to remind you guys to please hit the like and subscribe button as it really does help me grow the channel as well as leave your comments as well because I do enjoy the, um, the uh, viewer engagement as well. So... It is possible that not only Justin Trudeau loses in a landslide election the next time we have a federal election, it's also very uh, possible that he loses his own riding, which, in my opinion, before I found out this information last night, I was what, you know, scrolling through YouTube, watching you know, the National Telegraph with um, Wyatt Claypool, and he was kind of showing this information. I thought, wow, this is insane if this could really happen. So what I'm talking about is... Justin Trudeau, and he, his writing is in Papineau, which is a writing in the city of Montreal. Very, very, very strong liberal hold for many years. Specifically since 2015, when Justin Trudeau originally won his writing, he got about 50% of the vote, which is huge. Especially considering there's five parties running, right? He's getting 50% is insane. That's a lot of support. He got that in 2015 and 2019. Now... When he has the, when there's the, when is the by-election for Papineau, Montreal, you're going to ask? Well, that's not until next October, some early October. So around the same time, we're going to have the federal election. And when I show you what I'm about to show you, you're going to think I'm insane. And I'll explain why. So when we pull up the reason, the Papineau writing here, you see 99% likely to that Justin Trudeau is going to win. But let me explain why that it's possible that this 99% turns into 0%. So if you look at this number here, Justin Trudeau looks like he's up pretty big, right? 38%. Well, remember what I said a few minutes ago, he used to get 50% or more in this riding. So he's lost around 15 points. And since they did the last poll, he's down seven points. And the NDP is up seven points and at 26%. So it's like, yeah, but they're still 12 points away. These polls, keep in mind, they do factor in all polls combined, as well as recent history. And considering that recent history has gone very well for Justin Trudeau, that's helping this number. It's pushing it up. I believe his number is actually less than 38%. It's probably closer to 30, which means the NDP is probably going to see a lot. They're probably going to get a lot more support from you know ex-liberal supporters who have now turned their back on Trudeau as he's turned our back on us. I also want to make it very clear, after all the, the, the bashing I've done of Jagmeet Singh, I am not saying in any way that you should just support the NDP now. However, in this one case, just to give Trudeau an extra kick in the balls that he deserves, if you live in the Papineau riding, you should vote for the NDP. Not because the NDP is great, but even if you're a conservative, vote for the NDP. Take that 10% and give it to the NDP just to get Trudeau out of here. Not only out as prime minister, but out of the House of Commons. Because so what a lot of people think that when he loses the next federal election, he's going to, you know, gracefully resign. And I'm sorry, Canada, I did the best I could. And, you know, people will cheer. And, oh, thanks for all your support and all what you did for our country. I don't want that. I want him to be, I want him to be embarrassed. I want him to just head, hang his head in shame. I want him to walk out of the House of Commons can't even look up at the ground, just looking at his shoes. That's what I want. And I think that's what a lot, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I think that's what you want to. So not only is he going to lose the next election, that's pretty much a guarantee. I don't want you to get complacent. Go out and vote like it's the opposite way around. Always continue to vote because you never really know. But let's be honest, Pierre Polyev is going to be the next prime minister. So that's going to be a major defeat for him right there that he's going to have to deal with every morning when he looks at himself in the mirror. To then lose his own writing and get kicked out of Parliament, not having a choice to bow out gracefully with respect, would be another kick to the nuts. It would be just another disgraceful, embarrassing thing that he'd have to go through, and he deserves it. So, again, Green Party, Conservative, Bloc, if you, if you have a problem with Justin Trudeau and you want to see him embarrassed as, as, as much as possible, just vote for the NDP just this once. 
let's not go crazy and keep voting for a socialist party here, but just to get Trudeau out of his seat after losing an election would be great and well-deserved. Again, 99%, I don't think that's actually the real number. I think it's much lower than that. I think it's probably closer to 60 or 50% even. He's got a fair chance at losing this writing, I'm telling you. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Canada has woken up enough to get this asshole out of his seat and out of the prime minister's chair? Or do you think that he's going to, you know, get to gracefully bow out after winning his riding and resign? I hope Canada has woken up by now, because after nine years of this shit, I think we've all had enough. But again, let me know what you think in the comment section. I always enjoy engaging with you guys. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll be back shortly with a new video. See you guys later.